Then I'm headed to the fish house. Spanish mackerel, I think. But Wednesday dinner. Doors that he got a lot of mackerel in some sea bass. We'll see how it goes. I don't know if you can see it or not, but gas has jumped 10 cents again. 189 today in Wawa. Holy Toledo. We got a brand spanking new Wawa right here. Let's see what it is here. Same thing, one up 10 cents here too, 189. Ah, can't believe it. It'll be two bucks a gallon by July. At this rate. I'm thrift, I'm getting ready to start thrift store shopping. I'm on the way to the first thrift store now. Two thrift stores and one big, well, it's, it's called DAV and Salvation Army. And then one's a, a local thrift store. Well, I bought four knives here. Nine bucks, nine bucks worth. They're in that bag. I can't get them out right now. That was uh, they carry some nice knives, but they're a little they're high as far as thrift stores goes for knives. Right across the street is our next stop, the Salvation Army, right there. They don't carry many knives, but once in a while you can get... I bought two there. Well, I did pretty good there. I got three nice Cuisinarts and a set of eight Japanese steak knives in the block. $4.98. I'll get back to you. I got one more stop to go. And then I'm heading to the cave to visit Elman Dantes. I've heard some decent reports from the cave. I've been there in a long time. It's uh, 1 o'clock, 1.40 right now. The tide's low about four some, so I got plenty of time. I'll shoot home and get my stuff and take off for spin number two at the cave. Well, I did better. I only got two here, but they're only 75 cents. A nice, uh, I think it's a Chicago cutlery. And some kind of slicer. It says stainless in Japan. Hallmark for 75 cents. So well, that's not too bad. Now I'm going on. Well, I changed my mind on the cave. I'm going to stick around right here and go out front where we were yesterday. See what this well weather develops into. Okay, there's a block of eight steak knives, three Cuisinarts. These are steak knives, Homestead, made in Japan. You see a lot of these knives. They're nice knives. And the second, last stop was I got two of those for 75 cents each. That's a Chicago cutlery and that's a Hallmark to Japan. And then the first stop, no, the second stop, I got these two knives here. It says uh, American Madison Echo France. They look like saboteurs made in France. Maybe they made them for this company. And we got a little serrated knife, says Japan, and an almost brand spanking new Tramatina boning type knife. That's a nice ticket right there, as, as these two are. I like it. It was a good day at the thrift store. Well, we headed in. I was going to the cave, but as I told you in the first video, I'm taking a break from this. See what this little doodad here is going to do. I think Chris is on the beach with a granddaughter, so I'm just going down there hunting that salute. Not as many depositors today as it was Saturday and Sunday. Ah, I see the Indians. They're sitting right over here. We got a little teeny bit of breeze on the offshore bar. But it looks just about like it did. We're going to go uh, west today. We're going that way. To the east, I mean the west. Looks like it's blowing over. We got an iffy one here, might be a bottle cap. I see nothing. Must be a little fell through.
It's a 22 bullet. That little sucker. That's why it sounded good. It's getting bigger now. I might have to run for my life in a minute. <laughs> well, it's starting to sprinkle now. As you can see it hitting the water. Not heavy, but it's coming. Or it's here. It's not real heavy yet. Everybody's running for the beach. <laughs> My leader's grabbing up her stuff too. You can see it's a heavy rain. Looks like it's coming that way. Wow. Well, I'm working right in these ripples. I haven't found anything. One piece of iron looked like a keep, looked like a chain link. And that's about it. Uh oh. I spoke too soon. Now we've got a 20. It's a snap, I mean, a wire connector. Coming down now, ladies and gentlemen. And a big crack of lightning. I think that's gonna send me home. I got the fish in that cooler right there. I don't think you can see them. I got I got a lot of ice on them. I got to take them to my buddy this afternoon. Peanut man. No, you can't see them, but ice. Spanish mackerel and one red snapper. I guess everybody didn't realize, or <clears throat> I guess some did and some didn't, but I've had uh, two equinoxes. That is my buddy Terry right there in California. My first 800 knox flooded after a month or two. My lab replaced it. And I sold it to Terry with the brand new carbon fiber shaft from Plugger.
and the Eisenhower phones from Tony. I waited about four, three or four months and decided that I wanted another Equinox. So I bought a 600 Equinox, which is the one you see me use for the last two years. Then it got to where it wouldn't charge. And I took it over, it was in a video, I took it over to Mumble's man and tested my charger against his charger, my charger for his 800, and it wouldn't, and it worked okay. It was just mine wouldn't take a charge with either one. So I called my lab up and they said, don't worry about it, take it off the shaft, put it in a small box, ship it back to us, still under warranty. I said, okay, and I did. And about seven or eight days later, they sent me a brand spanking new Knox 600, which is the one I used yesterday and today. And the notice said water intrusion, didn't say where, it said factory replaced under warranty. So I've had three Noxes, one 800 flooded, one six, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. The 800 flooded in the screen, the screen had water inside of it. It was a waterproof 800. It kept water inside. You follow me? The 600 had no water inside the screen. It must have had water in the battery area or something. That's what they said. It had water intrusion. Like I said, they replaced it. So now I have a brand spanking new Equinox and brand new spanking Tony headphones from Mr. Tony. That's the story behind the Noxus. Some of y'all are talking, I forget who it was, that I don't think I want one now with all these flooding. Hell, there's a million of these things out there. And only, only uh, 100,000 or so have flooded. But they fix you, they give you a brand spanking new one when it does. Go ahead, give them hell. I'll get back to you. See you, Mr. Tony. I mean, Terry. Some, some, that's some river, lake or something. I know it's a lake in California. I don't, he told me, but I forgot where it was. Looks like he's got a knife with down on his leg, is it? Right there. That's pretty cool if that's what it is. He's a year or two older than me. But he loves the knocks. Not that I blame him. It's a cool little heater. Just in the nick of time, another storm. As the bushes, Chris, cut up, they blow it all over the yard. Look at that. It's bad. <laughs> it's bad here right now. <coughs> What's my buddy call it? A toad floater rain. It's putting it down right now. Get them flags out there. This was just getting underway when I left. It's been rain delayed all day. But it was just getting ready to stall when I drove out of the driveway. I guess it'll go on. It'll still be, I know it'll be going on when I get home. I mean, it was already, I think they got 50 some laps in, but now they get, they're starting back up again. Well, the race just ended. My number 10 car came in third backwards. That's pretty good. That's the best he's done in a long time. But my other picks were in bad shape, as were Denny's. We're mumbling. 
but I just got a kick from one of my knife people. Said I just dropped off some knives in the box. I, I got them come out here to pick them up. Three pocket knives I gotta work on tomorrow. Stand by. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I dropped off the uh, fish to the peanut man. I got two bags of these. I got five or six bags of these peanuts. And three bags of cashews. Unsalted cashews. He put them in an eyeglass case. <laughs> I don't know if it's an old book or what that is. This is a case. I know what this is. And this is an old timer. Okay, we got an old case. I mean, an old old timers. He needs to clean it up bad. He saw the case. Not too bad a shape. And a Pakistani buck looking knife. Give us some action for Tuesday. <laughs>